Now in this video, we'll see about the graph wizard. Previous video, we have seen how to create the inbuilt graph. We have seen how to customize the graph. But if you want to create a graph from the scratch, you have to use this option as graph wizard, which will help you to choose your best options for which you want to analyze the data. So let us see practically how do you work on this graph wizard. Now to create a new graph from the scratch, we need to go to the analysis menu bar, select this graphs and I can select the option as a graph wizard. So in this graph wizard, there are total number of steps are five. If you see step one of five, select entity type. Now, right now by default, it is selected as requirements. If I go to test lab, that will be something else. If I go to defects, that will be again defects. Which type of graph do you want? So if I select the summary graph on the right hand side, if you see requirements summary graph, if I select the progress graph, it will give me a line graph where it will be the months will be in the X axis. If I select the trend graph, the legends will be for the direct cover status and it will be again with the days or months. Now I'll select this option as trend graph and then I can click on next. Now if you want to understand what this 10 graphs shows, you can read the description like trend graphs shows history of changes to specific requirement fields in a project. So this is the details about every graph is given here. Now I'll click on next. Now it says, do you want to create a graph for the current project, which you are logged in raw, that is tourism, mercury tools, or else do you want to select some other project use selected projects. So in the domain and the projects will be given here, or you can click on this select button right now. I'll not go into that because I have only one project that is mercury tools. I'll select this use current project. And then I'll click on next. Now it says after selecting this option, do you have something to filter out? So filter selection, do not use a filter, define a new filter or use a dynamic filter. So if you want, you can choose a filter. Otherwise you can click on next. Now it says, do you want to select a coverage option? There are two options. That is, there are some requirements which are not covered. So do you want, do not show not covered parents? Or do you want to show not covered parents? So I'll say I want to see every requirement even with the covered status or not covered everything. So I'll select this option, click on next. And now do you want to group by some fields like direct cover status, priority, requirement type or reviewed. So I'll say I want to group by priorities, all the fields itself. And now I'll just click on finish. When I click on finish, I'll be getting a dialog box which gives me the same graph that is requirements trend graph and it is grouped by priority. How do you come to know on the right hand side? If you see these are the legends which has different priorities with the urgent, very high, high and you on the on the graph itself, you can see the red color stands for the urgent one and the yellow color stands for the very high portion. So now this is for the trend graph. If you observe, this is for 27th of May and this is for 28th of May. Now, uh, if there are some more months or days that will be visible here since there are only two days. So it is visible the time interval. Now, if you don't want all of them, if you are only interested in the trend graph about this, uh, let's say for example, medium, or uh, you can deselect the medium. If you don't want, if you don't want the urgent, you can deselect. Now you can compare the other priorities of the requirements. So right now I'll select everything and then I can click on cancel button here. So, now still when you click on cancel button, still you have the option of customizing the graph. You can change this options again. If you want to see by the requirement type and you can click on finish. So based on the requirement type, this will be created. Since there are no requirement types, they have, they have not shown anything here. If I select the option as direct cover status, click on finish. Now, if you observe the legends has been changed instead of priority to the direct cover status, like not covered, not completed. And yesterday's date, what was the status and today's date, what are the status? Everything will be visible here. And in the previous video, we have seen about how to customize a graph using this options on the toolbar, right? So I'll just click on close and I'll just click on finish. So I hope you have understood how to create a customized graph and using, you know, using a graph wizard and what are the different steps available into creating a graph. That's all for this video.